Today's Sunday Mass with Catholic Extension comes to you from Youngstown, Ohio. Good morning. I'm Father Jack Wall, the president of Catholic Extension. We build up and strengthen vibrant Catholic faith communities in America's poorest regions. Christ is clearly present among us in these places, and seeing the profound faith of these communities gives us hope. This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant today is Father Sean Conaboy from Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Aurora. I am Meg Daniluk from St. Mary's in Mineral Ridge and St. Stephen's in Niles. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Dr. Lido Sevilla. Come, ye thankful people, come, raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter storms begin. God, our Maker, does provide for our wants to be supplied. Come to God's own temple, come, raise the song of harvest home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest, highest, and on, on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you, you alone are the Holy One, Holy One. You, you alone are the Lord, the Lord. You, you alone are the, are the Most High, High Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ with the Holy Spirit, Spirit and, and the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all the evildoers will stubble, and the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. The Lord, the Lord comes, comes to, to rule the, the earth, earth with, with justice. justice. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp with a harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The, the Lord, Lord comes to rule, rule the earth with, with justice. justice. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. The, the Lord, Lord comes, comes to, to rule the earth, earth with, with justice. justice. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. 
He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. The The Lord Lord comes comes to to rule rule the the earth earth with with justice. justice. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right, rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone is unwilling to work, neither should one eat. We hear that some are conducting themselves among you in a disorderly way, by not keeping busy, by minding the business of others. Such people we instruct and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to work quietly and to eat their own food. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, all that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you are not deceived. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first. But it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place. And awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. Before all this happens, however, they will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons. And they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is a a group exercise for team building and for cooperation that it involves a large seesaw. About 10 people, they stand on the platform and they try to balance it. But what happens is that each person sees what they need to do and they adjust on their own. And then it it simply goes from side to side, back and forth, up and down, and never balances. They, at some point then, there's a person who's placed on the ground watching, and and that person gives directions. Hey, you move this way and move that way. Uh, And yet still, the board never balances. And, and as this continues for, for some time and the group, each individual becomes more and more self-conscious, there's a group leader who says he's going to be taking, he or she, they're going to be taking a picture. And so, so they, the, the person convinces them that as embarrassing as they look, in fact, the picture is that embarrassing and they continue to, uh, to banter back and forth. And, and as they're talking to the person behind the camera, what they soon realize is that the board is balanced. 
what they realized is as they were looking out there at the person who was taking the camera, as they were looking out, they were able to balance and achieve their goal. The lesson was, is clear and strong. Only by looking at a goal beyond themselves will the group achieve the intended goal. Even if everyone is committed to the goal, makes their best effort, and is willing to personally change and adjust to achieve that goal, even if they receive advice and helpful comments from others, unless they are looking at something beyond themselves, they will not achieve their goal. Without looking outward, their task was difficult, almost impossible. But again, when their attention is focused on something beyond themselves, they will achieve their goal with ease. That's the lesson that they learn beyond just the seesaw. Projects, especially the bigger, bigger they are, require us to look beyond our individual efforts and look beyond the efforts or mistakes even of others. These projects require us to focus on principles and ideals. And that's what these celebrations are about these last days of the liturgical year. Our feasts and readings point us to eternal realities. We start November by honoring all the saints, by looking towards heaven. The readings today are about the day of the Lord, when God becomes unmistakably present to us, the day when Jesus returns in glory. The church directs our attention to that day, to, turns our attention beyond the often unstable ground beneath us, and beyond the good efforts and inevitable mistakes of those around us, and beyond the strain that we exert every day. The church points us to have this eternal focus, directs us, asks us to have this eternal focus. And if we look to heaven, if we focus on, the, on that goal, then all of our earthly projects can be met with much greater ease. If our goal is beyond immediate things, then we open ourselves to receive God's grace. By letting go of control, by trusting in God, we receive God's grace, helping us to achieve balance and stability and success in the projects of our parish, our church, our world. In the gospel, by turning our attention to the day of the Lord, Jesus is helping his disciples look beyond themselves. He turns their attention away from the temple with its beauty and its power and its influence and familiarity, he points them to the glory of the Lord's return. And then he tells them that some others will claim special knowledge about the Lord's return. These individuals will direct their attention to wars and persecutions, to natural disasters, to the fragility, to the instability of the world around us. These words serve to keep our attention on the shifting ground beneath us and distract our eyes from the Lord's guiding presence and promise. And then Jesus tells them that with focus beyond the beauty and, and the threats of this world, with focus there, others will resent them. Conflicts will arise. But Jesus, again, he tells them, he tells us that conflict will lead to your giving testimony. We give testimony. We point to a reality beyond the visible world. We invite others to look towards our eternal end, to look towards that day of the Lord. As Christians here and now, we work towards many social, economic, and spiritual goals. We help others to see the presence and love and mercy of the Lord here and now. In this Eucharist, we pray for a greater focus on God in achieving our goals. And we pray that our example will lead others to live with that same focus. I believe in one, in one God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and earth of all, all things, things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only, only begotten, begotten Son of God, God born, born of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, light from light, from light, light true God, God from true God, God, God begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came, came down, down from heaven, heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and became a man. For our sake he was crucified, crucified under Pontius Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God's never-failing care for us, we offer him our prayers and petitions. For the church, that we may be faithful to our mission to bring Christ to others as a sign of justice in times of persecution and hopes in times of despair, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That leaders around the world may respond wisely to the signs of danger to the Earth's climate by working together to prevent greater death and destruction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are incarcerated, both guilty and innocent, that they may find mercy and peace during their time in prison. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That as winter approaches, those who are homeless or who are unable to afford warm clothes or shelter may be protected from the debilitating cold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are unable to join in the Eucharist in person, that they may realize their connection to all the faithful who come together to give thanks to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, with our eyes fixed on you, please hear and answer our prayers. We offer them to you today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. 
To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, be done on, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive that you, should enter under but my only roof. say the word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being part of our celebration of the Eucharist. We share a bond with our fellow Catholics as God is calling us to be one and share our gifts with each other. Won't you now help us build up and strengthen our church across the United States? Please call or visit us on the web and join us next week. May God bless you and all whom you love.